Now maybe this sounds a little bit harsh, but I feel like it's the truth. Up until this point, has New Balance really made a football boot that people care about? I think over the last few years, they've made a couple that have been pretty good, a couple that have been pretty terrible, but for the most part, has anybody really cared? No. With that said, even though I don't think people will all of a sudden start caring, maybe they should because the brand new Furon V6 Pro is a legitimately great pair of football boots. And here it is, the New Balance Furon V6 Pro in what was the launch colorway, which features a combination of this bright orange and kind of like a maroon red color with a silver New Balance logo. And their latest colorway drop in white and silver, which I have to say looks really good in person. And yes, they will get dirty easily both of which retail for the same $220. Something I've been saying for a while in regards to New Balance football boots is that the materials they've been using on the uppers have not been all that great, especially considering if you walk into a New Balance store and check out their latest running shoes, the materials used on those are remarkably premium. So I've been waiting for some of that technology, some of those materials to make their way onto some football boots and they've finally done that, which I guess it shouldn't be much of a surprise that this is by far the best football boot ever to come out of the New Balance brand. And in this video, I wanna tell you why that is. We'll go over all the details and of course, take a look at how the boots fit and feel on feet. So if you're interested in learning more, please stick around, watch the entire review. And if you're interested in either of these two boots for yourself, you can click the little pop-up in the corner of the screen or the first link down below. That's gonna take you to the review page on my website Site where you'll find buy it now links with exclusive sr for you coupon codes to pick these up below their normal $220 retail price. And because they're not that popular, you can get them on sale pretty quickly. This colorway you can get for like 150 bucks, which for that price, it is an incredible value for money. As far as extras go, there aren't any. They come in a regular red and white New Balance box. And unlike previous Furon models that did come with a string bag, these ones do not. As for the boots themselves, they are completely redesigned in comparison to all past Furon models, which is a very good thing. Starting with the upper, you'll notice that it is for the first time ever from the New Balance brand, a knitted material. If you read the tech specs, you're gonna find Hypo Knit, Hypo Skin, as well as Fit Weave, which is the one logo that you have here on the medial side. Fit Weave is kind of the going name right now, so that's what we're gonna call it for the remainder of this video. Basically what you have here is a knitted upper with a pattern that adds structure and material to certain parts and then leaves it a little bit thinner in other parts based on structure and touch. And according to New Balance, this was the best way of doing it. Basically the easiest way to explain what's happening here is that the light orange color is kind of the base and then the parts that are in this darker maroon color are a little bit thicker. They're raised spots where you just have a little bit more material for the sake of added structure. Why you wouldn't want added structure in this area of the foot for the sake of responsiveness, I'm not really sure, but that is the design that New Balance has gone for. Either way, it looks quite cool. And if I'm being honest, it doesn't feel like there's much of a variance in structure across the upper at all. It feels very similar all the way through. It's very soft, it's very flexible. And if I had to compare it to any other upper out there right now, it reminds me a lot. In fact, it feels almost identical to that of the knitted upper on the current Puma Future 5.1, which is not a bad thing. If anything, I'll say that this is a little bit thinner overall, but it's soft, it's flexible, it's very, very sock-like, and pretty much requires no break in time whatsoever. So the upper feels great against your feet, but how is it in regards to touch and overall responsiveness? Because the Furon, after all, is a speed boot designed to compete against something like the Nike Mercurial series or the Adidas X line. And honestly, from a touch perspective, it's nowhere near as thin as the Flyknit upper found in the Mercurial. This compares more closely to the Speed Mesh upper on the X19.1 in that it's definitely thin. There is a barefoot sensation to it, but there is that thin layer of padding all the way through, which doesn't necessarily give it that true pinginess that I think a lot of people search for in a barefoot feel. But for the most part, I still really like the way that it feels in terms of touch on the ball. There's a very thin layer of polyurethane pretty much across all the parts of the upper that do matter. Doesn't really provide a ton of extra grip, but just make sure that the upper is not slick against the ball in any way at all. And then of course there's the lockdown, which I think is honestly pretty good. Again, the upper feels like it's trended more towards softness rather than overall structure, but it still feels nice and secure on your feet with the laces tied tight. And obviously they have gone 
for a one-piece design with this particular boot. The central portion of the upper being filled in with this kind of elasticated knit material that does run into the heel area, which does make for kind of a mini collar if you want to call it that but the boot as a whole does have a low cut design. It also of course works with what they're calling a hyperlock lacing system, which is basically just a one piece upper with a dual lace hole setup. Nothing too fancy about it, but it does do a pretty good job of locking the tension in the lacing system once you've tied the laces tight. So in that regard, I'll say that it is pretty good. As far as the heel area is concerned, it does feature an internal plastic heel counter and does have a little bit more of a narrow or mercurial cut to it. A little bit higher at the back than I personally think that it needs to be, but that's not really a big deal. And then internally, it has this really soft synthetic suede material, plenty of padding and the lockdown I would say is very, very good because of that. And then as far as the insole is concerned, that is of course fully removable and it's really nice. I will say the material for the foam is super thin, very lightweight, and honestly, maybe on the cheap side, I question the long-term durability of this, but it does feel quite nice. And then the liner, that's my favorite part. It's what they call InfiniGrip. You can see the logo right there. Kind of looks like a standard mesh, but it has this very soft, almost kind of silicone grip to it, just to grip your socks and prevent any kind of extra slippage inside the boots. It's a very minimal thing, but something that I quite like. Which brings us to the sole plate and stud pattern, which is a huge improvement over all past Furon models. However, when compared to the current Nike Mercurial, you can see that they are kind of similar. I don't want to say that they copied Nike, but it is as close to copying as you can possibly get without actually copying. And as you'd expect, this Mercurial-esque design does result in very Mercurial-esque traction to the point where I would say that this is now a top three football boot in terms of aggressive traction, if that's what you're after. You'll notice that the studs are all chevron in shape. They're all blades and they are significantly longer than what we've seen on previous Furon models, where I really liked the unique layout, but the studs were just unfortunately a little bit too short, especially if you played on slightly softer ground. Now with that said, this is a stud pattern that is designed for natural grass, definitely not great for hard ground, and definitely not something I would recommend using on artificial grass. It's just a little bit too clingy because of the aggressiveness and shape of these bladed studs. But if you're looking for as much bite as possible when accelerating and stopping and pushing off in pretty much any direction, this does a very good job. And then as far as the sole plate is concerned, it's made out of a nylon material. At least that's what the tech specs say. It doesn't look like there's any kind of inlaid nylon. So I'm assuming that is the material for the whole thing. It's relatively thin through the forefoot and has really good flexibility, but has tons of stiffness basically from this point back. You can see that it does have some kind of support bars running through the middle. Really cool design to that as well. If you look at the white ones, they look even cooler with this kind of silver finish. And I should also mention uh, the white part here at the front is a wearable finish. And then the maroon part here at the front is also a wearable finish. Uh, just something that I figured I would point out. But as a whole, this sole plate feels really good. Again, very mercurial-esque, so it shouldn't be that surprising that I like it a lot, but by far the best sole plate and stud pattern we've ever seen from the New Balance brand. Also, shout out to New Balance for clearly labeling their football boots. Something else New Balance set out to improve with this latest Furon is the weight. Not only is this the lightest Furon they've ever made, it's the lightest football boot they've ever made, period. So, how much do they weigh exactly? Well, we're gonna weigh them side by side with their main competitor, the Mercurial Vapor 13 Elite, to see what the weight difference actually is, both in the same size, 9.5 US by the way. We'll start off with the Furon, and you can see that they weigh in at 6.75 ounces, the equivalent of 191 grams, which I can confirm that is their lightest football boot ever, and just quite light in general. We'll pull these off the scale, and we'll throw on the Mercurials, and you can see that they weigh in at 6.9 ounces, the equivalent of 195 grams. So it is only a four gram weight difference, but technically the Furon V6 Pro is lighter than the Mercurial Vapor 13 Elite. So as you can see, I've swapped out the stock white laces, which look great because the boots are mostly white for some metallic silver reflective SR4U replacement laces, which accent perfectly with the silver NB logo and of course the silver on the sole plate. Just looks really cool and it's a great way of changing up the style of your boots in a very inexpensive way. If you're interested in some SR4U laces for yourself, the website to go to is www.sr4ulaces.com. There'll be a little pop-up in the corner of the screen as well as a link down below in the description. So if you're interested in some, 
be sure to go ahead and check that out. On feet, the boots fit and feel really good. Definitely the best fitting boot from the New Balance brand thus far. The fit weave upper is soft, it's flexible, it requires no break in time whatsoever. And like I said earlier in the video, it reminds me a lot of the knitted upper found on the current Future 5.1 from Puma, but maybe just a little bit thinner and honestly, maybe even a little bit better. As far as overall fit is concerned, this is the regular fit variation. There is also a wide fit model available as well. Maybe I'll bring those in to do a review in the future if you guys wanna see that. But this one in particular feels really good. That I would definitely not describe them as narrow at all. And the upper, because it does have so much softness to it, it doesn't feel like it's squeezing your feet, kind of like a pair of Mercurials would. So they're definitely different from Mercurials in that regard. But definitely I would say that they have a nice snug fit no real extra space on the inside, just not super, super tight. So for the most part, I think they'll fit most people as long as you don't have super wide feet. As far as sizing is concerned, I'm wearing these in my usual size 9.5 US and the fitment length is perfect. So if you're looking to order some for yourself, I would strongly recommend going true to size in order to achieve the best possible fit. So in conclusion, is the Furon V6 Pro good? The answer to that question has to be yes. It is, in my opinion, the best football boot that New Balance as a brand have ever produced. And me being somebody that at this point isn't really a huge fan of the speed boot category in terms of actually playing in them. I will say that objectively, I still think the Mercurial Vapor 13 Elite and Superfly 7 are the best speed boots that you can buy. With that said, and like I've said in the past, if I was comparing the Mercurials to the X19.1 from Adidas, I prefer the X19.1 because I just find it more comfortable. With that said, I actually think that I like the Furon V6 Pro more than I like the X19.1. So if you're asking me right now to pick a pair of football boots in the speed boot category to wear personally for an entire season, I would probably pick the Furon. I'd love to tell you that there was some major flaw holding this back like there is with most New Balance football boots, but with the Furon V6 Pro, that's just not the case. It took them six tries, but I think they finally did it. Anyways, guys, that's it for this one. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to support it with a like. Again, if you're interested in either of these boots for yourself, either the regular or wide fit variations, you can click the first link down below. That's gonna take you to the review page on my website where you'll find Buy It Now links with exclusive SR4U coupon codes to pick these up well below their normal retail prices. If you have any questions, as always, leave them down below in the comment section. I'll do my best to get an answer out to you. If you're not subscribed already, make sure you hit that subscribe button along with the little bell notification so you get notified when the next new video goes live. You can find all my social media information linked down below in the description as well. Other than that, guys, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.